What's up, guys? It's Zed, and this is episode 5 of the FIFA 22 Create a Club Career Mode. We're using Zilla FC, that is our team. And as you guys can see on the screen here, we are the manager of the month. For the month of October, we played five matches, we won all five of them, and we drew none and lost none in the FPL. I mean, I know we lost the Indian Leeds last episode, but just strictly in the FPL. In the EFL, we are the manager of the month. And because of that, we are going to be bumping the difficulty up to ultimate. I had no idea that it was on competitor mode when it was a legendary. No wonder they do all those kind of weird, annoying things that they do that make them penetrate your defense easily. But I'm going to be turning that off because I'm not going to, I'm not about to kill myself with ultimate and competitor mode. So I'm just going to turn off competitor mode and the, I'm put it on the ultimate difficulty. Yeah, I'm making the half length longer to six minutes I have no idea why but I just feel like i should do that this is what the month of november looks like we have a match against stoke then we're also going to be at home against qpr then we're traveling to what's the name of that team i'm i have no idea what that team is called swansea apparently not a new logo okay either that or fifa did something wrong i'm not quite sure if that's a rule their new logo or not but anyhow then next West Bromwich Albion is coming to our stadium and then we'll be going to Birmingham City after. Up next is the match against Stoke City. I'm going to be sending past this one. I think we're going to enter into the month of December in this episode. It's just the West Brom match that I'll be playing from this month because I really want to like get out of the, the championship as fast as possible. So it's just that match I'm going to be playing for this month. But I'm going to be simming most of them so if i can play another match in the month of december i will and wow wow so rivera scored the first goal then devo then river river again and apchi scored as well so rivera and devo are really getting at it they're, i think they're like the highest goal scorers in the team right now yep rivera is on 16 goals and devo is on 14 zayed is still the third place with eight goals it's around six goals behind the road and we will be using our second team to sim this match against qpr because we're at home and and, and and i'm pretty sure that we should be able to win this match and no wow this is our first loss of the season and we lost in the godzilla arena to qpr qpr is like on the bottom of the table aren't they not bottom bottom but like bottom half right yeah, there are 24 teams in the championship and that means they are the bottom half because that because then they're number 13 so i wasn't really expecting that to happen that is that is that is bad and we have the assist leader in our team karim zaid he has played 14 matches and he has nine Assist with eight goals. This is actually a really impressive record, and this is a very big deal. Logan Devo has suffered a lateral collateral ligament injury and will be out for up to three months. Three months is actually a really long time, but I'm really happy that we just got Kamavinga to replace him. So I think I'm just going to put uh, well, Avchi looks like he can be useful in that position, so I'm just going to put someone here to replace Avchi. Yeah, this Gasama guy looks like he's the best option for that. And uh well that should be good. I'm just going to do that in my second team sheets because Devo is on the bench here. So I'm just going to put Gasama out there. And well or I, I think I'm just going to put Gasama here and then I'm gonna put Avchi out here. So it means Avchi is going to be playing this um position for a while till Devo is back. I think this is the international break so our next match is against Swansea. We are also going to be simming that but with our main team because we cannot take any chances with these guys. So are we going to be able to grab the win? We do. We just barely get to Rivera scored again and yeah he scored two goals in this match. Yeah look what I just saw. Our goalkeeper has an assist to his name. How? How did this even happen though? 
We are no longer unbeaten in the championship. We lost our run to QPR, but now what is next is the match against West Brom. Are we going to be able to continue our brilliant run of form of high scoring goals? I mean, I doubt because it's now an ultimate difficulty, but let's just see how we're able to do. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also drop comments on what you want to see in these videos. And I'll see you guys after the match. Our cameras on one man in imperious form and the leading marksman in the league. Can he add to his total today on EA TV? And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And we're on the cusp of bringing you live action from one of the most exciting leagues in Europe, the Championship. It's the Blades up against West Bromwich Albion. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And the match is underway. Okay, I just have to say that I'm really sorry again for the confusion with the jerseys. I keep on forgetting that... I'm supposed to actually like try and change the jersey like colors if they clash but then I wasn't really looking at it so just apologizing for that Strandberg Stewart in particular what do you expect to see from him well, his recent form speaks for itself. Four goals in the last three appearances, and he's been playing with great confidence. Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nice. Faulkner. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. That's a well-struck pass. Can he finish this? Well, it might still work out for them. To attack here. Well, it fizzled out. And I'm hearing a change to the scoreline in the Forest match. Here's Alex Scott. Yep. It's a goal for Nottingham Forest. They've scored the opener here with 31. Must be. And a goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Well, here it is again. And the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here. And now the delivery. Mopping up defensively. And he's in. Really vital interception here. Oh, a nice looking pass. And it goes! A three goal cushion. This is astonishing stuff. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Says on. And a poor attempt at a challenge, and on he goes. Oh, a save of the highest order. Well, he got his angles absolutely right. What a good save that is. Corner kick played in. Well, he was being closely watched. Goal Great kick. Block. Now, can they create something? He might profit from here, you know. Surely. 
And this time it's in! Fabulous goal! And just look at the celebrations! Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. But I don't think the keeper should be beaten at his near post quite so easily. And over comes the corner. And they deal with the threat this time. And providing width. It's there for him. Denied by the bar. Back in play here. Clears it away. Defensive resilience to shut them down. Good defensive judgment. And he takes on the shot. And a goal! If there were any remaining doubts, that will settle the issue. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. Goals in plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. And there it is. The okay, so that is the first match of this episode done and dusted we are still able to get those high scoring goals even against a side that is on the top three i really i really like how karim zaid was able to get that final goal in the match it was really cool even though it was like a defensive error the ball got cleared to the wrong place at the wrong time and then zaid just punished them completely so I did say that I want to finish this EFL Championship as fast as I possibly could. So I'm going to be simming from this match all the way to this match against Petersburg. I think that is the name of the club. Yes, they are fifth on the table. I basically want to be playing matches against the top six. Whoever is in the top six, I'm going to play a match against them. And uh, so I'm simming all the way to this match. Let's see... Oh, I think FA Cup matches are going to be somewhere. Oh, sorry, this is just December, so never mind. We, I didn't see the match against Birmingham City. We win that match 1-0 against Luton Town. We win against Derby County as well. And we are arriving at our destination. We beat Birmingham City 2-0. So we're just going to jump straight into this match with our first team. Our camera lens trained on one man in a rich vein of form and number one in the scoring charts. Can he do it again today, live on EA TV? And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we're on the cusp of bringing you live action from one of the most exciting leagues in Europe, the Championship. It's the Blades, and they take on Peterborough United. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Zaid. Oh, left his man behind here. And no way through. And taken short. And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. A goal for West Brom. They're the first on the score sheet here with only seven minutes played. I haven't seen a score like this in a while. Spectacular save. Top class goalkeeping. Oh. 
Short corner taken. And the penalty has been given here. And it's also going to be a booking. Well, he's absolutely right. It's a penalty and a yellow card. goodness he's got that one horribly wrong well you could tell he wasn't confident was he Marriott in it goes an early goal no wonder they're celebrating Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. Giving us away. Firing it in. Well, good technique in terms of how he struck it. And lining it up. Johnson Clark Harris. And a goal! They've increased their lead and they don't want to be throwing it away from here. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power. The keeper has so no... we're hoping for. Well, they survived the attack. A tremendous vision. Zaid. Can he convert? Well, Lovely ball over the top. Strandberg. It's opening up for them. A goal! That's exactly what they needed. That should get them believing again. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Could play it in. No space if he goes inside. Firing it in. Well, there it is. Real resilience for you, having been two goals down. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. And this really ought to be a championship game to savour. It's live on EA TV. It's Peterborough United oh, what a facing chance. This Reading. Is Derek. Well, good technique in terms of how he struck it. Good technique displayed. It's opening up for them. Body in the way. It might be the moment to get them ahead. And will they be able to play it in behind the defence? A oh, good hit, close shave. Good play to stop the ball going in. A decisive clearance it was. Breaking at pace. They need to get bodies back. Well, it was a brilliant break, but no goal as well. Either result. way, they counter-attack there. They did it with such pace and quality.
And he's in. It has to be, surely. Oh, a goal! Can you believe what we're watching? It truly is a comeback and a half. Here we see it again. It all started with that superb one-two. And he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. Rivera. Running with the ball confidently. Plays it back. And another one! Two quick goals. Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. We have entered the final minutes of normal time. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Alright, so that last final attack was... I messed it up, I messed it up, but like... We were still able to get another four goals in this episode. This is for legendary, we have six goals and then four. Ultimately, we can score four goals. So, well, the goals are really, really high. And I'm really happy about that. This guy, Karim Zaid, was the definitely the man of the match for this match. He did really, really well, both on the ball and off the ball. But anyway, this is the end of the episode. If you do like this video, make sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.